On today's episode of The Remainder, we visit Denver, Colorado to go on a field trip to Deloitte Digital's Virtual Reality Lab. It's always fun to talk about where the future of e-learning is going, and this is it right here. We're going to be using the HTC Vive system, which is a pair of binoculars that project things 3D to my face, and it's also got these little monitors in the corner that are monitoring and tracking my movement and changing the display based on that. So not only am I seeing things in 3D, in 360, I'm also interacting with objects there. So we're gonna take a look at how this could be used for e-learning in the future. Here's the room layout. We've got about a eight foot by 10 foot room. We've got two of these little monitors that are tracking position and they know how far I've walked over here, how far I've walked over there, so my screen relates to it. And we've got the headset, we've got the controllers and a machine to run it all. Actually a pretty simple setup when you look at it. With any new technology, it's always easy to poke holes in what won't work but try to set that aside and focus on what capabilities this opens up that we couldn't do normally. So to get started, I'm gonna wear this device. It has two, has a little screen in here with two little eyepieces. And then in each hand, I have different controls. These allow me to pick things up, use tools, and interact with the world around me. All right, so you're seeing what I'm seeing. Sorry for the shakiness, it's not shaky to me. Left hand, right hand. This is the job simulator. Here's my room. Imagine this being like the front reception office of your company. Okay, these are the different um, jobs I can do. Let's try auto mechanic, because I like mechanics. I stick the card in here, pull the lever, and I'm in here. Okay, paint-o-matic. There's my car lift. Sweet. I can tune my radio. Wave to people. Fluids, parts, tires. Okay, I'm looking for a job task. Caution, stand back. Pull chain when ready. Okay. I like that instruction board over there, so I know what to do. I'm not getting any sound. I wonder if something's messed up on the settings. Okay, lift the car. Car show, show off. This is so cool. I can practice something with only the cost of a few cameras and the software. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. Okay. A little three cylinder with pistons but no cylinder. So it's a three piston. Okay, the fluid looks low. I don't know what's happening. Let's put some more oil in. Put that back on the shelf. Mm, that looks like sriracha. Put some of that on the engine. And inevitably, this is what's going to happen when you build this, is people are going to goof around and see what they can do and spend the first hour learning the software, not actually learning as with any new technology. Close. Okay. Hmm. You can see these little blue things. Those are the constraints of my room where I can actually go. That's so weird walking through the car. Can 
drink my energy drink. I wonder if it ever runs out. Nope, this is the best energy drink ever. Oh, I can change to different parts on here. That's pretty neat. Let's open that up. Uh, we need some sort of oil cap. We can change the pistons, I think. Oops. Let's try a circular piston in there and see what happens. Okay, this is too much fun. I just got to show you this. I love chucking stuff. Mm -hmm. Put a solar panel on here. Air filter, we need not in the oil. Swap the air filter, that one was dirty. I'm looking for instructions over there, but I'm not getting any instructions, so. Put some round pistons in. And then I don't know what we do with these little things here. Oh, I can convert it to solar there maybe. Wouldn't make much sense being under the hood. But okay. I don't know what this guy is. We'll just replace one tire. There's got to be a way to change this. There we go. That's better. Thank you. How do I lift it? There's my piston. Lift. Hood ornament fire. Okay, let's make this a hood ornament. Oops. Sweet. Excuse me, sir. Hood ornament there. Looks like our battery is not doing so hot. We can turn the AC on. So this is really cool. We can experiment, play around, interact with things. Obviously, this isn't like a real mechanic shop, but it gives you a good idea of what is going on. Now I'm trying to figure out how I exit this. In the last one, we ate a burrito. Don't know what we need to do here. See a car. Let's see what's in the trunk. Nothing. We should put another one of these in the trunk. How do I get out of here? Let's see. Uh, I think this one of these people is going to tell me, the supervisor, tell me what to do. Hmm. I can't read that very well. Labor bill. I need to bill someone. What a mess. Wish I had shoes on. I could kick this stuff. There you go. I need to print my labor bill. And who do I give it to you? There you go. Now he's going to check my work, take it for a test drive, I don't think he's going to make it back. Pull chain when ready. So I like this, here's the next customer. What is this, my assessment to tell me how well I did? Let's see. These are kind of obstructing my view to see what needs to be done. How do I get out of here? Let me out! Let's be a gourmet chef today. I'm going to pick that up, stick it in, boom. Okay. Here's my world. The Snooty Booty Award. Okay, 
I'm in the environment. This is really cool. Here's my fridge, freezer. Okay. Oh, cool. I can swap my shelf if I don't need cold things. Okay. This is inevitably going to happen when you build these. You're going to have your people just exploring for the first 20 minutes, wasting time just learning what happened. Got a grill, sink. I like that. I wish real restaurants had that. Well, wow, that's fun. Whoa, what did that do? Interesting. All right, let's see if I can get some tasks. Pull paper when ready. I've kind of explored, got my fire extinguisher. All right, order up. This is my instruction board that tells me what to do. Classic breakfast. So I think I need to move this, that looks like a toaster. Nope. Microwave. Oh, that's this thing. Duh. So, I'm going to move my grill. Turn the grill on first. Next up, I need some bacon and I need some eggs. There's my bacon. I'm just going to stick it right on the grill. Don't tell the customer I just dropped that. Okay. No meatballs in this one. I think this is an egg. Yeah, there we go, cool. Okay, completed that task. Now put them on a plate and ring the bell. You can see this, oops, I think I burned my bacon. That was on there way too long. I burned my eggs too. Oh, I didn't ring the bell. Come back. Someone else can have that bacon. Okay, here comes the next order. Oops, that's catching on fire, that's not good. Blender. This is pretty cool. It feels like I'm really working right now. I'm feeling the stuff going on around me. Being in the environment adds so much more to the learning than a static slide presentation. Okay, uh, smoothie time. I don't know what the question means. I wonder if I can just put my own stuff in here. Okay, I made a smoothie of something. I need to pour it into a cup. There's the cup. Oh, let's not spill it. I put it on the plate. Oh, someone's getting bacon too. Burn bacon. Bing! The headphones aren't working. I don't know what's going on with that, but task complete. Fun! All paper one ready. Next task. Let's see if we can catch this on fire. That's kind of fun. Uh, yes, sir. What can I do for you? These matches. Tea and crumpets. Uh, don't know what that is. Oh, there you are. Put that there. Okay, sink. I'm supposed to fill this with water. This is probably way boring to watch, but man, is it fun to do. Okay, turn it off. Awesome. Getting hot. Oops, change up the pot. Oh no. That's supposed to be grilled. Crank it up. Speed it up a little. Okay. Oh, that's what that was. That was my tea bag. Put it in there. Pour it in a cup. That's gross. That needs to be washed. Okay. Oops. Dang it. In the real world, I'm not going to have triggers for hands. But you can still feel the pressure. Ah, dang it, now I gotta make more. Oh, time to toast something. So this is cool because it's giving me less and less instructions here. I think that's toast. I need to find bread. Bread's in my non-cold. Oh, 
No, we need two. Let's pop out on this one. It's kind of fun. I got it. What am I waiting on? My coffee cup to be on there? Ding. Task complete. Awesome. This is really fun. Not only is it fun, I, I'm learning where everything is. I know where my cups are, an order comes in, I put it on the plate, hit the bell, and someone takes it out to the customer. Um, yeah, this is just too cool. I'm totally immersed in this and very, very fun. I see a million potential opportunities to train with this. All right. We're going to use the comments section now to talk about how this could be used. Pretend the sky is the limit. Pretend you had a million developers at your fingertips to build whatever you wanted. How would you use this for your current project? And how would you use it for future projects? And how do you think this is going to change learning moving forward?